Make no mistake, the final goal is to eradicate humanity as we know it. Once you understand the final destination, it becomes much easier to look back and identify the psychological conditioning, the biological tampering, the cultural grooming and the educational prepping that we have been subjected to for decades in preparation to making us accept a post-human future. It takes a lot of physical and psychological abuse to get an intelligent species like ours to agree to its own extinction. Most, if not all, that has transcended in the last 60 years was designed to get us closer to accepting such a dystopian reality. Whether you care to accept it or not, we live in a hyper-controlled matrix where our perception of reality is meticulously planned, managed, and executed in order to control and steer us in whichever direction they wish. And the direction is a post-human world. For this, they first needed to destabilize, dehumanize, and demoralize humanity through every means possible. The destruction of the nuclear family, children being indoctrinated by the state, abortion, the eradication of God and spirituality from education, life in mega cities and away from nature, toxic food, air and water, social media, replacing real human connection and interaction, engineered financial crisis and taxation, Endless wars and massive migration, stress, anxiety, depression, drugs and alcohol, constant fear-mongering, moral relativism as the new religion. And I could go on and on about how humanity has been influenced and forced to move away from all the things that give us strength, security, purpose and meaning. A weak, immoral, disconnected, ignorant and unhealthy population is an easy target for the next stage, the creation of an entire generation of androgynous beings. Masculinity is under attack psychologically, culturally and biologically. Women are being replaced in sports, entertainment and politics by men pretending to be women. And children are being indoctrinated at school to think that gender is a choice. The transgender movement is not a grassroots movement. It comes from the top. It has nothing to do with people's freedom of expression, sexuality, or civil rights. It's an psyop to, with a clear agenda to get us closer to transhumanism by making us question the most fundamental notion of human identity, our gender.